Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Perfect. laughs> All right. That's the first clap, too. Let's see. Hopefully very many. Uh, well, we don't have a name for the podcast just yet, but um, welcome to this uh, temporary placeholder podcast. Uh, I guess um, I will. Uh, my name's George. Yeah, I'm Colin. Uh, okay. Yeah. And oh, yeah, that's me. My name's Matt. Sorry. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, I'm here. Don't worry. <laughs> so, um, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately. I got a new job, not in the uh, food service industry. So, uh, music, listened to a lot of music for a while, got sick of music. And, uh, well, I guess there's books, audio, auto books, audio books to turn to, but. That's that's not really for me, so you go to podcasts. So uh, yeah, that's kind of been my inspiration. But uh, yeah, what about you? Yeah, so I've been fucking honestly in the, the food industry myself for about six to seven years, and just in this last year transferred over to a different industry. Which definitely involves cannabis is one of the things I've been passionate about um, for a while now. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry. This is why it's so funny. Hold on. I'm sorry. Nope, oh, that's your job. That's your profession. I shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> I'm not even. I can't. I'm sorry. I just had to like turn off the screen nope. because <laughs> nope. I'm laughing nope. at just how like silly. You look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, we're all we're all a little. I mean, I'm I'm a little bit toasty right now. And I'm pretty yeah, sure you're yeah, feeling it too. Definitely. So Ugh. there's gonna be a lot of laughter in this shit. Um, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, for the yeah. longest time. So yeah, we work we work in the the cannabis industry. Uh, just me and Colin. Yeah. 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 Just you and Colin. I will never work there. Just, just I'm, me. I'm never gonna work in that food in that, that well, food hold or. On, hold uh, on. You could be like. Hold on. Maybe, you know, in the future, mm. you could be like... There could be some marketing management. Yeah, you know? come on. There, you there is some jobs some... that make six figures in the cannabis well, industry. You could be uh, catching the next El Chapo or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, think, uh, I don't think I'll be doing that. I'm pretty sure El hey. Chapo over there doesn't use sexual mobile devices. They just hunt down people and <laughs> execute. They don't, they don't give a shit. Right? Uh... Yeah. Good. I, I <laughs> what mean, a shit. Who knows, man? It's twenty twenty two, right? What a great yeah, segue. You never know nowadays. <laughs> what, what a great segue. Um <laughs> My name's Matt. I don't work in the cannabis industry at all. Not even close. Uh I'm actually a digital forensic analyst. Uh basically just look at people's phones, export, work with attorneys. Uh you know, pretty fun stuff, I gotta say see some pretty interesting things that uh, you really don't want to talk about but yeah. I don't know How you guys you uh, doing that now do does the place okay so a question for you guys Are you yeah George you don't cut anymore right or do you um actually I I am back in there oh, okay. doing that now and Colin you do the same yeah technically right now yeah I, I've I'm on the harvest team, which involves trimming and taking care of the the final product of the, the plant. Okay, because I Just went <laughs> I went to my first dispensary right like a couple weeks ago, and you guys will probably find this funny as shit. So I go in, I go in with my friend, and uh, we go. We went to the the um, we went to Mint. Okay, Mint. Um. I think that's over by my house. There's one over. I'm pretty sure there's it's one over by 60. you. Um, but there's also something. there's also Maybe one not. down by. I don't want to give like exact coordinates, but mm -hmm. um, <laughs> there's one by 20 minutes from where I am. Maybe 15 uh, down the freeway a little bit. It's like right. very oh, wait, it's large. It's definitely not by me. Never mind. It's definitely very large. The one that I went to. Like when yeah. I say large, they. I don't know how common this is because i don't know but they had like wings and pizza and shit too 
like their own cafe. Oh yeah, I know exactly shit, which know? one you're talking, you know what I'm talking about. about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we we get there, and uh, you know, check my ID and all that stuff, and we're going through. And they tell the the girl at the front, they're like, "Hey, this guy is like very new. This will be his first time like having just edibles in general. He can't smoke." <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, she's like, I'll I'll be right back." And she comes and she brings like ten different packages back. Right, starts uh, speaking a bunch of language I don't know. Right. <laughs> it's all Charlie Brown. Yeah, and then, um, and then she, my friend goes and he's like, "I need to go get a lemonade real quick." And so he goes and sees what flavors they have, and she's like, "All right, well, why don't you look at this and let it? When I come back, why don't you have a couple of decisions?" And I was like, "I don't, I don't even know like half the shit you just said, but okay." Um, so I chose brownies. And then I chose okay. sour apple, like green sour apple gummies or something like that. Um, and then my, and then we got a cookie that was like seventy five milligrams total, but you know you never know who gets the luck of the draw there when you cut it. Right. Basically, right. just we He's... just played roulette with that guy. Um, but yeah, so that was first time going there. But then where you guys are gonna laugh is I went with my friend again to one by his house who was like a mile away from one I forget what it's called and when I don't know how often this is in dispensaries you guys can tell me but when we walked in they had an automatic door lock before you could enter where the actual dispensary was so when I walked in you know the door closes behind you they have the lock there and then it turns green and then you you walk in right mm -hmm. <laughs> my dumb ass decided to just walk in there and I kept trying to open up the fucking door <laughs> even though it was fucking red <laughs> Right. So, and then all of a sudden, the guard or the guy that was checking at he's at the front came up and he was like, "Dude, you gotta wait for the thing to turn, <laughs> for the door to turn green." And I was like, "Oh." And Nick's like, "My friend's just sitting there," and he's just like, "Just like, oh, okay." Because it was the first time we were at that one, and I'm like, "Dude, what? Is, what is this shit? What is going on?" Yeah. And uh, and you could tell all the people behind the counter were just like staring at my dumbass. And like, believe it or not, I have a degree, by the way. Like, the, like this shit, you can't make this shit up, right? Um, those there I got nerd clusters. Have you ever seen the, the new nerd candy? The, the nerd clusters. It's like nerd rope, but they're just like circle form. Um, yeah, yeah. They right. they almost make it at anything now. From yeah, Skittles dude, to that chips was... to dude. drinks <laughs> to like you said, they actually have a place that does cafe stuff that they make pizza. And they yeah. make stuff like with cheese and burgers and cinnamon mm. rolls that are all medicated. And it's a full-on meal. Like, you could go sit there or take it home, too. <laughs> yeah. um, there's Although, also, I saw a thing. It's like a fucking, uh, it's a cannabis hotel. It's like a whole experience. I'm not sure where it is in Arizona, but somebody was telling me about it. I'll have to do more research <laughs> on it. What the but, fuck? Well, a qu yeah. the question I have for you guys, because weed's legal, right? So why yeah. do most dispensaries not the one I went to previously didn't do this, but but the mid one I went to only took cash. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? If it's legal, what's the point? Is is it? It has. I kn I know. I heard about this recently because mm -hmm. I was curious about the same thing. But isn't it? Be. It has to do something with being tracked through. Maybe it has to do something government, I think. Well, maybe because the place I went to this previous time with my friend to get a couple things, um, they took card or cash. It didn't matter. But like, but, but like, mid but only did. takes cash. It right, says it's the... mostly due to banks not wanting to do business with them. Oh. So maybe they just tried and banks like, nah. Because the one I went I've to, seen... you can use card all you want. They're like, oh yeah, we take either one. So, yeah, I've seen dispensaries that do do it too, but most of them maybe they couldn't get just deals because with banks of certain or licensings yeah. and stuff <laughs> they have. I think Is a lot that of it? them because when we went to a dispensary over here, it they did accept card, but you looked later and it said like you know ATM fee. So basically, <laughs> they just like took you know they just did the atm job for you pretty much in a yeah. sense i don't know usually if you spend over a certain amount at these places it shouldn't charge you that fee though but mm. yeah i don't know 
I yeah, me either. I have something to talk about. George is really going to despise me of, and it's a great oh. time for this podcast. Actually, now that very good. Out. Let's hear it, um, George. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna. As far as I'm about to get, are. I'm about to get lectured hard. Hmm. So I work digital forensics. Um, my phone took a shit. Okay, <laughs> my OnePlus took a shit. My 120 hertz kept going to 60. My phone kept restarting randomly. Um, Outlook would would just freeze my phone for work. I, I think I see where this is going. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, you know exactly where this is going. Is dog shit. You know exactly where this is going, though, and I don't think you do. <laughs> I think I do. I don't think you do, Matt. Yeah, please, 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 please tell me what you got. <laughs> what have you been watching? <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Please tell me what. Dude, what do you think I got? See if you're on the right track. Okay, did you get the most expensive model of it? No, you did not. No. Is there okay? Here's the next question: Is there three versions of this phone? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is. Did you get the middle one? Yeah. Okay. So also, this assume... phone this phone makes my job very easy. By the way, with what I need to do. Oh wait, no, no, no! I'm going down a. I, I was going down a totally different road. Okay, so oh, no. you have. Oh no! I think you have the same phone as uh, Colin. Then. What does Colin have? You have the middle one, right, Colin? Yeah, I have a thirteen Pro. Uh uh-uh. uh. Hmm. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. No, I have a twelve. A a twelve Pro. Twelve doesn't wait. have a Pro. No, they don't have a Pro. 12 is just 12. 12 and okay, there's a 12, 12 mini. 12 has like what, an what is this phone? Too, but... Is this not an iPhone? No, it is. It's right here. It's blue. The, see, okay. Yeah, no, That's a 13. Is. No, it's not. Yeah, it's that a is a 13. No, it's not. It's a... T- guys, I yeah. bought it at the fucking store. Guys. Okay, fine. Oh, wait, right, no. Okay, show me show, your phone again. Show Let me the, see show the camera. Man. Dude, yeah. What do you want? Oh, yeah. See, look at my camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it almost... You guys are you were Because you were spinning it, so it looked like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, so I was like, okay. So the other day, phone was taking a shit, and I was like, dude. I look at the Android phones, and I'm like, dude, these are all kind of bullshit. So I'm just like, well, yeah, fuck it. So that's what I spent. Once that fucking guy, what I think was his name, Pete Lau, though that he about? he was one of the like CEOs of OnePlus. Oh. And I saw that he left. And I knew it right then yep. and there. It was like, it's about to go fuck. Like, uh, uh, so, the thing is, is, is to lead people in, uh, doing digital forensics with iPhones is way easier than Androids. Um, doing oh, yeah, collections sure. with iPhones is way easier than Androids. For example, to do a collection, when I say collection, um, it's a bit-by-bit copy of a phone image or, or of a phone. So... It basically downloads everything on that phone at the time of collection. Everything that's on there. And there's nothing left out. Um, when you do an iPhone, all you have to do is have people turn off their auto lock to never. That's it. But when you do an Android, you have to go into settings. You got to go to about. You got to go to the build number. Tap the build number seven times to get developer mode <laughs> yeah, open. Developer then you got to turn developer <laughs> mode on. And then what you got to do is you got to go into developer mode. You got to click stay awake. You got to allow USB debugging. You got to make sure MTP file transfers on. You got to make sure the verify apps and data is turned off. And then keep plugging in the goddamn thing until our software reads it because Androids give us so many fucking problems. <laughs> yeah, there's I'm not so even many kidding. different Android USB like drivers. It's it's awful. And then you have the clients and custodians getting angry at us. The software's not working right away, and I'm like, it's because you have a Z fold. Like, it, it's not. It has nothing. iPhones, I do in like 20 minutes. It depends on yeah. the storage size, but getting it set up takes me like 10. Right? Yeah. They're pretty convenient. I, uh, like, I honestly, I was gonna say maybe you went with like a a Galaxy. Yeah. S22. Yeah. Plus, maybe. But, mm. um, yeah, no, makes sense. Honestly, like, every uh, everyone around me has 
the like thirteen, yeah. and yeah. it's not bad at all. It, no. Like the, they they fucking do the goddamn job. I you know I was I was hating on Apple for a while, and I, I still disagree with how they handle their security business outside of their phones. Yeah. Um, as a company standard, it makes my job a little difficult, especially if um there's like a legal activity going on on Apple products, it makes things really hard. Uh, but alone. Just like the phone security, just with the phone in general and how the phones actually work and feel, are actually not too bad. And uh, so, yeah. So as a, as now at this little circle table we have here, mm-hmm. as the only Android user, mm-hmm. I want to know your guys' opinion as iPhone users. I read not too long ago that that Apple is gonna start like searching everyone's pictures Mm -hmm. and it has like a database like child pornography database Mm -hmm. to you know get them yeah (laughs) so people don't fucking like that so what are you so what are you what are you asking i mean it 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 could it it could be like in a a sense like invasion on personal privacy but in a sense (laughs) you shouldn't have that shit on your phone anyway so why, why would you be scared of it yeah, because if, if it's pictures of yourself or, I mean, like, even of your, like, loved one or whatever, you know, like, you both should be of age and it shouldn't be illegal to have those things on your phone anyways. Right. So it, it wouldn't matter if, obviously, if you're if you're taking those pictures, you're, you're comfortable with someone else seeing them, so. You know. I, like, I guess, personally, I just, I think it's fucking genius. Because, like, it is a database of okay like you could specifically say like one video they found that um was on this guy's you know phone charge guilty of it everything right they now have that video and they can match it with everyone else's phones and shit like that and then that's just like you know anyone else that has downloaded from that same website you know they, they have all those phones now yeah of uh, all those people that have the same video that went to the same site kind of shit but yeah i don't know because yeah it is privacy but are they kind of really are they really looking through your pictures so i think i have a different take on this just because of my line of work Um, right uh, i personally even through like without like going through school things like that with cybersecurity and whatnot um i'm really big on privacy or personal privacy obviously if you're doing something illegal i don't think you have privacy at all right i don't, yeah. I don't think i think your privacy is taken once you decide to do illegal stuff like that or anything illegal i think your privacy is just thrown out the window but um as far as apple doing that I don't really care. It's it's the same thing. It's the same thing that uh, the TikTok does, or that any of those apps do. Literally, if you go through and read um, TikTok's privacy, which some people have been doing now, right? They now take your name, your number, your system information, your IMEI number, location, everything like that, and just store it in a database, right? Mm-hmm. And people don't care, right? People people still use it. They don't give a shit. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, so, how they're gonna get their so, content? And yeah, they don't give a shit. And wherever that goes, wherever they sell it to, fuck, fuck if we know, right? So, <laughs> but but look, right. no one gives a shit. Right? The people are still using TikTok every day. I still do, and I'm a security person. Like, it, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, um, I know you don't, but um, oh yeah, yeah. But but I, um, as far as Apple, like, I don't know going out and saying that i i think they're kind of late <laughs> to be honest yeah. with you about that it? yeah i think they're late to it why has has android products been doing this already i i would not be surprised okay i, I, would well, I mean I, yeah, i'm pretty sure yeah. uh, i'm pretty sure fbi had relations to devices in in, in yeah. a sense to certain searches that people do and, you know the thing is is like I would not. Android's open source, right? We all know this. Uh, Android phones, Google Play Store's open source, everything like that. It would not, it would not surprise me if Samsung or anything like that have already been doing that for years. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, how do you, yeah. how do you think, 
um, you know, you look something up like a, say George, or you look up like a gaming chair you want, right? right. And then lit- on your phone, say on your phone, right? And then you go to another website and there's gaming chair ads, right? Well, how the hell did they get that? They're searching something, right? There's something, right? It's the same thing as if you um, look up, if you look something up on your computer, you start getting ads for it everywhere, right? Oh, absolutely. And that's not even that's not even like Apple based or anything like that. So there's obviously something going on already. And so, like, my opinion on the whole thing is search whatever you want. At this point, might as well. Uh, as long as long as you're not over here sending stuff on my behalf, you know, or causing problems with all my on, with my name. You know, things like that, because yeah. that's illegal, it, right? I, I, mean, I could give two point, shits. It requires a fucking lot of effort to, yeah. you know, keep yourself private. Yeah, I mean, and that's why... You gotta, be the, you gotta sit, by, if you really want to feel comfortable, you gotta sit behind a VPN all the time. Yep. <laughs> Which, yeah, and, and the thing is, is like, social media, that was a huge thing for me in my past, because uh, I never posted on social media, really, right? I, it was never really yeah. active. Anyone, I still, I'm still not, dude, my Instagram is blank. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing there's not the there, yeah, man. It's full of my there's animals. The there, there. So, so I, when it comes to like social media stuff like that, if you post on social media uh, anything whatsoever, you are automatically giving your privacy away. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're posting. It doesn't matter anything. It's gone. Your privacy's gone. Right? Because those sites take your information. They do whatever they want with it. Same with phone companies. You know, phone companies sell to other phone companies. Really? Or sell to spammers? Yeah, they sell your phone number yeah, all over the place, yeah. dude. Are you kidding me? Dude, I bet T-Mobile does. That's why we get so many fucking spam calls, bro. Dude, yeah, every that's company true. does, man. Oh, my God. I didn't really so think annoying. about that, to, to be honest. Because it, it happens. On it, like, honestly, every phone carrier I've had, it's been like that. Yeah, so. dude, every, every phone carrier sells your information, man. You know, like, that's just how, that's just how it works, like. Things just, yeah. uh, no, literally, it is just data, 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 yeah. data, data. Uh, they pay for it. Spammers will pay for it just to get your information, just to get yelled up at you on the phone and not even have you pick up. Right? Like, that's how they also make their money based off before even your plans or rates come by. That's how they all make their money, dude. So they sell your shit. Yeah. And it says that in a little agreement in terms, right? When you make a new plan or get a new phone, you know, that no one reads because mm-hmm. they don't want to read fine print for like 200 pages. Fuck that. Yeah, for sure. All of yeah. it's gibberish I mean, until the very last paragraph, dude. Yeah, I could definitely vouch for that. I'm definitely one to skip by all that shit. So. Yeah, everyone. Dude, I don't know a single person that reads that shit, man. Hell, <laughs> we were looking we're, we were looking for, at work, we were looking for an app to crack a phone, uh, an Android phone, because I had a passcode on it. We didn't know the passcode, right? Literally boss finds a program, just pays for it, agrees to everything, downloads it, tries it, doesn't work, <laughs> moves on. Like, the, the, this, you know what I'm talking about? Like, no one gives a shit anymore. <laughs> yeah. No one, no, one, no one gives a shit anymore. So it's... I don't know, man. Privacy is a weird thing. Talked a lot about that in school. And it's kind of the same thing. It's just a circle. There's there's laws, but there's really not. And yeah. uh, there's a bunch of loopholes for them, so it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, what, what are you supposed to do at this point? Honestly, at this point, just live. <laughs> Just live, right. you know. Enjoy the life. Who cares? Don't be a piece of shit. Yeah, he's basically like, a, like, a, like I said, if you're doing some illegal shit, uh, you're you're gonna get caught eventually, and your privacy's already gone right when you start to do that, right? Yeah. Like, I can say my privacy's gone too, but only in a sense of what I post on socials and what people can look up about me, right? Yeah. Uh, as far as like my personal life, it's very private. Right, only my friends know what goes on in my personal life and family, right? No one else does. No one else can go on my yeah. socials and be like, I know exactly what he's doing right now. Are you really active on social media as it is? <laughs> no. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you have people that post what they're eating for fucking brunch and then what they're eating for their snack at 2 o'clock and then what they're watching at 2.30 while they eat their snack at 2 o'clock. Yeah. And then meanwhile, at 2.30 while they're watching, watching and eating, they have a cat right next to them. And you yeah. gotta show that off with their name. And then they have a kid running up to them. And then uh and then they update you on how good the food was and how good the show was that you were watching. 
Yeah. People are kind of crazy, <laughs> man. It's fucking a whole life story. It's just not like a reality <laughs> I know, TV I know many show. people like that, dude. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I post on Snapchat uh, at least, like, maybe once or twice a day. It's, it hasn't been recently as much mm-hmm. because I've, I've just been kind of overworked in a sense mentally. And I haven't really been feeling the need or actually <laughs> wanting to go on my phone and interact with it as much. But... Into. It's not. I don't. I don't let. I don't want people to know as much as what I'm doing in the day. It's more just my personal self, just posting what I like. Yeah. In a sense, I don't really care I, what people think about it. Yeah. For those out yeah, there, just, I like that. Yeah. Because like I don't know. I'm I'm in the same boat as Matt. I just I don't. I just there's. I don't feel like anything I do is worth taking the effort to put it on the online and shit. No, but what you think people care that I reach like Diamond and Valorant, and, like Grand Champion and Rocket League? Like, that's what my life is, right? So there's really nothing going on there. But one thing I wanted to put out there for everyone is your Snapchats aren't deleted and they're not gone. Oh hell the way, no, they're out there forever. By the way, working in forensics, they're not gone. By the way, Mm-mm. are they? They're still like even on the phone. Yes, forever, they, right? yeah, yes they oh, are. Yeah, yeah. Yes, oh, they yeah. are. Now. There are ways to purge data, and I'm not going to explain how those ways work. Um, but Hell there no. are ways to actually physically get rid of a lot of stuff uh, that cannot be that cannot be uh, rebrought to the world of course. Uh, digitally. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of people don't know those techniques, so that's what makes my job my job. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to explain how that works. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, Snapchat's never gone. By the way, that. Uh, Oh, you can only view the chat for 24 hours, or you can only view the chat once, and then it's gone? That's no, not gone. You just can't see it. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to send this one picture. It's still there, by the way. A little little uh, nipple action. You know. Damn. Oh, no okay. gone, in, uh, <laughs> gone, gone in 10 seconds. Gone in 10 right? seconds. Well, oh, that, shit. That's they, what sna- I they snapshotted it. Shit. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> And this is what I was talking about, house. like, earlier, too, you know? Like, you shouldn't be sending stuff or, like, looking at stuff that, that, that isn't legal in a sense. I mean, if you're comfortable sending the pic, you shouldn't have an issue with someone else seeing it in, in, in that sense. So. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel, like, about socials, too, is, like, if you're going to post something, you should be perfectly okay with what people are going to say good and bad about it, right? Yeah, Um. for sure. Sorry, my screen's all bright. Not that anyone else can see it, but... We look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah, we dude. don't. We yeah, we are on on video, but obviously this is gonna start as a little audio for the time being. Yeah, yeah. I um, but, um <laughs> yeah, definitely would be. I I was like, I at first I wanted to turn off the camera because. I don't know. I was fucking geeking out over Colin for some reason, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, maybe in the future, because I, I mean, obviously this fucking webcam is dog shit. My C920 is all the way over there, but whatever. Yeah. yeah, wait, where are you out? Where, where, where are? Oh, are you in? Where are you? I'm in my second fucking. Room. Oh, okay, okay. Like, where, the hell, where the hell are you right now? Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Privacy and stuff like that. The conversation just goes in circles. There's everyone has a differing opinion on it. I just tell people, listen, your privacy is already gone when you're born, so you might as well just live your life. Whatever yeah. you post, people can either say negative or bad about it. You gotta be prepared for both. Who cares? Do it for yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> right. I mean. Yeah. All right. The fucking we're finally. Here. Uh, <laughs> fucking our fourth finally shut up. Fucking yeah, so uh, dumbass. Welcome Fashion to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hi, hello. Um, dumbass. this is gonna just you well, guys are all beautiful for them. Well, you know. It's gonna be just like us talking, us three, <laughs> and then <laughs> all of a sudden, it's gonna be. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, okay. man. So, um, we decided to let the fourth in. Yeah. yeah. So um, I, I grant, got he also access. works. He also works with Colin and I. So now go ahead and introduce yourself. How's it going, guys? Damon, looking good as ever. Mm. That's it. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's it. 
That's my man. <laughs> yeah, just looking good you as know what? You know simple what? man. I f- I'll take it, honestly. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I'll man. take welcome, it. Welcome, welcome. I want to hear your guys' introductions. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. missed out on that. All right, you got to watch the episode. Yeah, episode. I'll, I'll watch it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to watch it back for for the amount of shit talk. Anyways, that we were doing That's previously. Correct. Previously, before we change topics to the exciting topic that George has no idea about. Um, oh yes, let me, ex- let me. While explain. I was peeing, by yeah, the way, because yeah, yeah. they don't know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'll explain real quick. We were talking about edibles and dispensaries and whatnot, and how I've experimented with edibles now since I can't smoke. And uh, I every time I have been doing that, I've been over at my friend's house. I've just been staying over there because I. I'm high for a very long time. <laughs> like, a very long time. Um, in fact, like, I took... I think I only had... I mean, I don't know how... Uh, let me ask you guys. How much is a lot of milligrams? Um, uh, for, for an average user, yeah. uh, 100 milligrams would, would considerably be a lot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, when I tell you guys my number here, you guys are going to laugh your ass off because I get high off of... I mean, I keep in mind I'm new, so... It, it's a little different, right? But the max yeah. I've ever had is just thirty from edibles, and I'm high for over like five hours. Like I'm like, that's good. It's that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, for for a beginner, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's a while. Yeah, that, you wanna, that's you pretty start damn good. Yourself out yeah. like around, I want to say from ten to thirty. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good. When I, when I first started, and we then, just took one every hour of ten. Right, just took one every hour, yeah. and then by my third, that's I was fucking laughing my ass off at over for nothing but yeah but um anyways so i, I came home one day <laughs> and my mom thought that i was just getting like trashed like just drinking <laughs> at my friend's house and uh whatever and she asked she straight up was just like so what are you doing over there and like i mean i'm 24 i'm not gonna lie to anyone so i was mm-hmm. like oh well, i'm I'm uh I was taking edibles or whatever and we were Nick and I were watching a <laughs> we were watching a movie made in India in uh that was not in English. <laughs> and we watched like a, two hours of it. And uh, was it bad, entertaining? Though. What was it about? Like dude, was it an action movie? Dude, or something? It, dude I, it, the the movie is called R R R. It's on Netflix, okay? Har har har. It's R R R, like the three letters R R R. That's it. Okay. There's there's no. That's it, right? You turn this thing on. You can turn on English subtitles if you want, but it's it's not in English. But the yeah. thing that throws you off is the main characters, like two main characters, don't speak English, but then other ones speak English. So like the movie is like half of the people are speaking English and the other half are not. Yeah, so no way I've heard of this before. Someone else yeah. was talking about this. So, so let me just preface this by saying I have no idea what kind of movie it is. I don't even... It's just like all action-based. I have no idea what was going on. <laughs> but let's just say at the very beginning, there's just like a like a, a child, like a girl, like on the ground. All I remember is she's on the ground and some dude just takes like a big fat branch and just smacks her across the face, dude. <laughs> like it's like a full-blown like... <laughs> It's, it's the craziest thing I think I've ever seen. Uh, but anyways, I told my mom that, and she's like, <clears throat> she, she's like, oh, uh, well, how's that? And I was like, oh, you know, it's pretty good. Like, I can't smoke, but you know, it's whatever. And uh, do the job. Yeah, and uh, she basically was just like, well, you know, uh, you're an adult, make your own decisions. I'm like, yeah. That's how my parents are. They really don't give a shit about anything Honestly, I do. Honestly, I'd rather my kid tell me that than that they yeah. were over there getting shit faced, took seven <laughs> shots, blacked yeah. out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, and I, I definitely, uh, I definitely appreciate a high more than being drunk. Actually, so um, yeah. So uh, I like honestly, <clears throat> I don't even really yeah mess with alcohol anymore. Yeah, I I, I don't really either. Uh, I mean, I could enjoy a beer every once yeah. in a while. Yeah. You know, I like a I'm good beer. Just, that's yeah. Liquor is yeah. not an everyday thing anymore at all. Yeah, it used to be. Honestly, I I I burnt myself out. I'm sure this happens to a lot of people. It's I burnt myself out before I was 21. Mm. I mean, I experimented with uh, quite a bit of different things, and uh, one, once I was 21, it it, it all me turned to me smoking cannabis. And that that was about it. After that, and 
honestly, my mind's been so much more clear oh, yeah. than it has been in the past, and my my mindset and everything has been more focused on what I wanted to develop in the future. You know, so yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. When you when when you when you're just smoking cannabis, it's, it's very much like you can it can be used as a tool in life. You know, for sure, it definitely opens a door in your in your brain. Yeah. Well, so anyways, that was yeah. There, because my keep in mind, like, uh, some people in my family smoked a lot. They don't do it anymore. Uh, yeah. My mom, when she was my age, smoking a lot. Obviously, doesn't do that anymore because of work. But, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. Um, but anyways, George, I have a special question for you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's special <laughs> topic <clears throat> unravel special. this. Uh... Um, this thing you so guys you, got. You yeah. just you just took a piss. Yes. Okay. Well, that was actually quite a little. Oh, it was a little bit ago, but you know, for audience sake, you just took a piss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, it's question for you: When when it's just dangling mm-hmm. there, okay? Did <laughs> you did you use your bidet? Well, no, because the bidet is in in my bedroom. Oh, okay. so so, so you, you don't exclusively <laughs> use that toilet. Then. It like okay, it's in my, because I in would my, if I had a toilet in my bedroom's like bathroom. Yeah, I, I guess his his <laughs> his main question would be when you're in your bat in your bathroom and yeah, you, you sit down to take 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 a piss. Do you sit down to take a piss? Hold on, you're sitting down to pee. Yeah, when you go in there, sit down to take a piss. I mean, well, I mean, let's talk about that. Do you sit down to take a piss or do you stand up? It depends. See, when you're when you're a bigger guy, it doesn't really work like that. Wait, bigger in what sense? What are we talking about here? Like schlong? <laughs> okay, yeah, in both halves. Mm, like, mm. so you got a big booty. George you know, is both really thick just, and I guess you can like holy shit. angle yourself forward to get your yeah. No, you can't really do that, dude. Face it down. It, it's just be really uncomfortable. Nah, dude, because then it touches the fucking toilet water, and you don't want that. Dude. Yeah, no, fuck that. See, yeah, you're not fucking. You're not trying to tea dude, bag you know your goddamn. Mean? Uh, you know what the worst is? Like, water. if you if if you gotta <laughs> shit and you sit down, you know, man, your dick goes like down the fucking toilet hole. That shit <laughs> sucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Sorry. Man. Okay, so, so. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> God damn. All right. So, so <laughs> follow up question, I guess. Yeah. F- yeah. Follow How, up to the... What is? Ca- can you rate your bidet experiences? <laughs> Top ten. <laughs> Top ten. I've only had one. Really? Yeah, because that... it does the job. No, I mean like like total experiences on that one bidet. Like, if you could rate them all. <laughs> dude, dude, the man, mm. Taylor, dude, you take you know, shit like every day. How can you... How can uh, you yeah, I would be abusing that thing, bro. <laughs> abusing it. Abusing it. Use it, dude. All, this thing. Okay, well, you know what? Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'll hear you out. I'll meet you in, in like, midway. Give me a top five, like, then? You know, sometimes... <laughs> I can't give you a top... St- Top five situation. Okay, they're all pretty okay. good, right? <laughs> but I like when you say you know abuse it, kind of because listen before mm-hmm. when I was in that right. goddamn room, dude, and you get the fucking swamp ass going, right? <laughs> and then I get in my van that at the time had no fucking AC and it's hundred and <laughs> seven degrees out. Fucking run indoors, yeah. sit down in that fucking bed and just blast. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah, just give yourself a good one. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Stay so fast on. <laughs> Wait, so can I say an experience? I wonder if there's like. I'll go for what? it, Matt. Go yeah. for it. So, my dad has one, right? Oh. Yeah, when, let's go. Yeah, yeah, that's how. I'm pretty sure that's how George got his, right? Or did you have it before? You didn't have yours I, before. I think. No, I, I got. I think your my dad your had, parents yeah. did have it, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I it was my inspiration was from elsewhere. Okay, so my dad <laughs> yes put the put this put this thing on, and he's like Matt, you have to come look at this. And I was like, what? What am I? 
what am I looking at? This man gets a red solo cup. Okay? <laughs> and <laughs> this, 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 this fucking guy starts it off, he's like, Yeah, dude, look, like this is this is the mode you want to clean your ass. And I was like <laughs> I was like, okay. He's like, now look at this. And he full powered it into the solo cup and dude the thing went flying in the bathroom. <laughs> And I was yeah, like, dude. I was like, you know, who so the fuck wants that up full their ass? Let me, just at you. <laughs> Let me tell you my first experience with a bidet, okay? So, this was, you know, I, I, it was at a buddy's house. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but it's when I lived in California. And they, they had a pretty good bidet. It was a nice one with, a, like, a good white dial. Oh, yeah. And not Love that that matters, dial. but anyways, uh... I, I didn't really know how it worked. Like, I thought it was just an, an on and off thing. Like, you turned it on and it shot a little stream. And, you know, <laughs> after that, you just dried yourself off and you're good. Pat dry. I, I didn't I didn't know the thing was pressurized up to, like, 13 PSI. <laughs> and, like, literally wants to pressure wash, like, what's left on you. Pressure leave you wrong, bud. Power wash simulator, dude. Coming right at you. I, yeah, pretty much. Is yeah, that how you got bit. into the power wash simulator? Um, <laughs> a little today. inspiration. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, that's, probably. That's, that, that was that was in, uh, yeah. Just look at them. You're like, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Wanted to start a side business. Off you know, of that, the you only know? thing I just thought of there when um when you said abuse it, I just thought of like imagine you as a bidet and like you all you do is see assholes every day. <laughs> And you just see you just see shit coming out, right? Depends on the kind of person, you know what I mean. It'd be the same for the toilet bowl, you know, like even there, and you just get like a new friend in there, so at least you get to see it with somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're both in it together. Can I? I can honestly say that I'm, and I'm sad to say, to be honest with you, that I've never had a like a bidet experience. Same. Really? Yeah, I've actually you never used one. You should definitely give it a try, dude. I'm, I'm gonna come to your house right now. I. <laughs> Perfect. I just I don't guys, I how can you listen, it feels weird like when you take a shit and water splashes your ass. Like how do you deal with a stream going up your ass? Well right, but it's it's um, the thought of Yeah, that you know, water. that that's yeah, it's, it's all about content. Literally freshly out of bunghole. Some filtered <laughs> water, water, dude, you know what I mean? And that water splashed back <laughs> up. <laughs> To your booty cheeks, so that's dirty water. You know what I mean. But the so bidet, let, let me tell Matt something. Let, this is the, like oh, this will be good. These are some uh, terms we call on pooping. So I'll, I'll give you the first one. Mm. So <laughs> what it's, the it, fuck is this? it's actually called when um, you know you're just taking a good one. You're pushing real hard, uh-huh, and, yeah. and you, you just don't know. You just fucking. It's it's a hot steamy one after a Taco Bell day, mm-hmm. and it comes back down and it splashes up. We call that one the Poseidon's kiss. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Leo, welcome to our new segment where the three stoners teach Matt new things. This is what's going on. The Poseidon's kiss. Well, there's kiss. also another one. Oh yeah, there's one more. Nice. One more here. Yeah. And so the other one that's also pretty famous. What we like to call is when you're, you're just like you think you're. Literally pushing out a ten pound baby, and you you go to look in your, your toilet for your prized possession, and and it's gone. We, and then the streets we call that one the Houdini. The Houdini. <laughs> Where did it go? Yeah, what? It's it's just gone. What? <laughs> okay. Pretty much. So, so you can start I'm using those terms. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do when I go on my date tomorrow? Gonna kiss. Me. Okay. When I go yeah. on my date. When I go on my date tomorrow night, I'm going to just flat out ask her if she's ever had a Poseidon's kiss. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good icebreaker, actually. I think, well, I've already been on one date with her, so there's not really an icebreaker to, to break anymore. That's true. But, okay, but well, so... it's, it's just another barrier, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, just another, yeah, sure, just another barrier. Why not? Yeah. So, back to when we were talking about um, TikTok. I don't mm. have it. But yeah. Colin recently showed me a video oh, God. bright and early in the morning <laughs> and like pretty much fresh off of the, the cartridge press. hit or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, I was, was curious if maybe Matt, maybe you've seen it because I was literally in tears because <laughs> I thought it was so fucking funny. Okay. Let me and show you. it's um it's Jim Kardashian. Oh God. Mm-hmm. And and 
the clips that I saw was like different news broadcasts, and then all of a sudden he comes in the background, and it's this guy that has these like khakis or something on it, and he's got a thick <laughs> oh, like ass, see. but it's definitely like stuffed or something. Yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it, at first, when so the audio for the uh, for the people listening, it. In the background, it appears like a drug deal's going on with, you know, a not really shady looking guy, but, you know, to play the part, to play the meme part. And then, obviously, yeah, this is the back of a news broadcast. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then, and, and then there's this guy with this <laughs> fucking thick ass. <laughs> and he, they do the money exchange and he turns around and the, the guy that, <laughs> Uh, gave the money or whatever that wasn't like you know the fat ass guy fucking winded up the <laughs> his arm and gave him one good smacker yeah <laughs> I've seen um, yeah. I've seen videos with that guy right before. I haven't seen that one but I've seen videos with that guy yeah oh, he does shit, a couple different ones crying. he does he does the Jim Kardashian and he does like the green screen yeah stuff. the office yeah, like, yeah, yeah. zoom meeting and shit on the lake yeah Dude, those are funny. Classic. Speaking of TikTok, I sent my friend a TikTok the other day of a new game coming out on Steam that you can add to your wishes right now. Mm. And it's called Squirrel with a Gun. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> fucking kidding you. Literally, <laughs> it's made in Unreal 5, by the way. So, like, it actually looks Ooh. good. It's just a squirrel. You're a squirrel holding real life size guns. Okay, like, they're not, <laughs> they're not brought down to size, and you rob people and steal things i'm not even kidding and then you can use the recoil of the gun to like shoot you up to like ledges and stuff like you can shoot oh at the God, ground you, can, yeah. you know what i'm saying and you can like steal it's people's phones and, sounds, shit. and i'm like what i didn't this? play it a whole lot but it kind of sounds like conquer's bad fur day except he just <laughs> goes around and kills people and then literally to that. contact the people about the game to like get a code if you go to their page to contact them, you can either contact Squirrel or Gun. <laughs> there's, oh. <laughs> there's, there's no, like, actual publishers. news, right? Like, it, I think it's just, like, one guy. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. This is what he's doing, right? And so I'm definitely, when that shit comes out, I'm definitely playing this shit, reviewing that shit. It's going to be funny as shit. Like, so, sounds awesome. another good thing, we can probably let them know, uh, what... What are we? What are we going to be talking about in general here? And I'm thinking that it's going to be around some of the things you've already heard, gaming. Yeah. Um. You know, stories. Life. Life stuff. <laughs> I think honestly, a whole array of topics. Anything that's What's interesting. relevant at yeah. the time. That's you know. Let's just kind of go. Anything that's fun that doesn't bring stress and fucking. Yeah. 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 We're not, probably not going to go over any negative shit. At no. All. <clears throat> no. Not really. No, no, but silly know. negative shit probably yeah yeah it can I mean, be I think that's just like a total know. fucking bummer to talk about mm-hmm. for sure yeah definitely oh, no, no, need eventually yeah, it, it, yeah. it it might come up the negative stuff might come up because i mean we're all adults and i mean you want to reason with stuff but it's not going to be yeah. anywhere near a hundred percent. No, no, definitely it's not, not. Not, not here. There's also, you know, I mean, but, there's debates and there's arguments. You know, I mean, there's also a fine line between the two. There's nothing wrong with debates. For sure. Know? Yeah, for sure. It's more just fun and exactly. we are just kind of just a little bit of our life. Yeah, you know. Just kind of yeah, join us for a couple hours at a time and see what I we're also, all about. Yeah, I also think. Um, I also think I'm going to. Once I try to get this internet shit fixed to so this small pack, I think I'm gonna like actually like start streaming, streaming. I think you better uh, upgrade the video games that ro- mo- modem and router. I know, I know, I know. Because oh, you just... could just put their shit to the side and then be like, "All right, when I move out, it's mine." <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, I don't know. I I want to like now that work is settled and like i have like a pretty decent schedule you know just uh who knows but yeah i mean i play definitely a different variety of games than all you guys play that's for damn sure yeah what do you usually play man 
Um, well, I play Valorant a lot. Valorant a lot. Um, but I also, um, I also play Final Fantasy fourteen a lot. I bet. And um, Minecraft is always. Although I haven't touched it in a couple months, I was telling George that actually the other day. I haven't touched it in a while. Yeah, I've been. I saw <laughs> that. There's, speaking of that, I saw that there's a Enigmatica 1.18. So Ooh. Enigmatica 8. Now you got me want to look through Steam, man. Steam. Steam. I ain't gonna find Minecraft on there. <laughs> I ain't gonna find that shit on there. Um, I don't know. I've been playing Payday 2 a lot with Andrew. Dude, I don't know the fucking movement in that game. Just it's like very hurts me. Old. Yeah, and they're making a new like one though. If... Hey, new one's coming out like a year. Okay, so good. Hopefully, it doesn't good. feel like I'm in slow motion. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, let's see what else is on my recent games. On? But I wanted to love that game. I'm serious. Uh, I, played, <coughs> I just started playing Factorio again. Uh, Ooh, I, play, I play new. Yeah. I play New World still. Um. I'm trying to think of what else I, I don't know. I, I've been kind of bored of games lately. I don't know if it's because work is just a lot, and who knows, or if I'm yeah. just bored of what I've been playing. I don't really know. I mean, yeah, it. That we're, I mean, we're kind of running into the same thing. We've been running Fortnite to Fall Guys to mm-hmm. Rocket League. Oh. That's why, yeah, like, that's why, like, all four of us need to, like, see if thieves or something. <laughs> yeah. Something we can put time into. Just something random. Sure. Right? Uh, well, honestly, me and George, like, lately, we I don't think, I don't feel like we've been playing games to have fun. It's more just the past time yeah. until we need to go to that's sleep. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys... Well, you that's guys why like, I wanted... We just need a, a goddamn computer, like, your brother's... So you could play it like modded Minecraft. Yeah, that'd be like I told yeah. George I'd love to play Minecraft with everyone, but I just can't stand Bedrock Edition anymore. Yeah, I exactly. I know. I I was gonna say because Bedrock is completely out of the question. Yeah, it just, has to be Java. I just can't do it anymore, so I just do Java. Uh, so, future question: Do you have to have like another PC run in this server too when you play modded Minecraft? And that's what I got. I run the yeah. servers. George runs them on Linux. Runs them on his Linux platform. You can have multiple running at once if he wants. Um, it's so fucking good. It costs it, it costs yeah. like five bucks, I think. Yeah. There's a it's <laughs> oh, a lifetime so license. I could run it on five different machines if I wanted to. Damn. It's crazy wow. though. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Do you play on this machine that's running it or no, that just runs it? It you could like um, this laptop had Windows and the server, but now oh, okay. now the laptop just needs to be you know for gaming or whatever, and then the uh, got a little server box going. It's good. Yeah. Okay, right on. Good right stuff. On. Yeah, that shit's, that shit's good. I don't know. I do want to play on a on the server again, George. I think. It, yeah, I think I'm getting we should, there. Uh, look into some. Uh, a little bit of Enigmatica 8, maybe. Is that a thing right now? Like, if I were to look it up right now, is that... Yeah, it's a thing. I was now? cruising through uh, GD Launcher, and I saw it. Oh, GD, that's right. Use GD, that's right. I don't use GD. Yeah, it's just so, what should I download from Minecraft? Oh, yeah, you have, your P- you have the PC launcher. now, huh? Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, we cleaned it up. <clears throat> that was good. I mean, it What's could probably handle, like, a little bit. You know, it could, I think it could handle Minecraft. Oh, yeah, it'll handle it. Oh yeah, there's Enigmatica eight for one point eighteen. Huh. Yeah, you need to go to like Minecraft.net to get it. Yeah. <clears throat> huh. The, uh, yeah, just look at the mod Minecraft list. Let's podcast. see what we got here. <laughs> oh, there's quite a bit of shit in here. Oh. <laughs> uh. huh. I mean I'm I'm down. I haven't touched Minecraft in a while. Especially 1.18. I haven't <laughs> touched, actually. Believe it or not. I haven't played on PC in forever. That's great. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, 
The freaking my friend wants me to play GTA Five with him. I'm like, dude, just wait for GTA Six. <laughs> oh, wait, well, Lord knows when that's gonna be out. Ooh, they said like a year. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, to but wait, like, two like more I, fucking years. GTA. I don't know. They they on. said a year ago for like the last <clears throat> two to no, three no, years. No, no, no. Like being being legit. Well, I think those were just like rumors. Like being legit, they announced that. They announced that they're having their first female protagonist in the game that you can play. Yeah, um, the, uh, I think it's coming out late. I think it's coming out rumors. late 2023. I think. <clears throat> right. But they did announce that that <laughs> Rockstar did announce that they're not no longer adding anything to GTA 5 and that they're done with that. Oh my god! god they're finally, finally after done like. Oh well, yeah, down. no, the last yeah the last update was the last one. That's yeah. why they added just a bunch of shit to make the game more easier to play yeah. online for a lot of people. Oh really? Is it really easy to get fucking money now? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, Jeez, like the, that's good. Yeah. Then maybe it's actually I, fun again. Yeah, I think I played for like an hour and I made like a good seven hundred to one point five million dollars doing Damn. just random stuff with one of my friends. Oh yeah. What about the heist? I want to hear like I seven, think, eight million. Uh, I don't <laughs> want to be talking out my ass, but it's that they're they're definitely increased, but there is now wait time, so where you can't cause, Just spam heist. Yeah, you can't really because before, unlike the Kyle Pericos, you could like pretty much just like do like a rinse and repeat with it. But not actually like glitching the game or anything. It's just doing the prep and doing the heist and not the wait to like do it again yeah <clears throat> but they added like a couple hours onto it now to where like you actually have to go do other stuff in the game hmm. so but there's different highest payouts and like they how added different the, stuff how long is the like delay because i mean it was pretty annoying as it was to do setups yeah over and um, over again I couldn't tell you. I'm, I don't know if, like, I'm pretty sure, like, I would hope that you could, like, maybe do the heist and do the setups for your next heist and then just have to wait for the timer. I, I feel like that would be more fair, but I, I really don't know when the, how much the time is. I would say it's around, like, an hour to two, but I could be wrong. I haven't put that much yeah. time or research into it. Man, I was just looking at the... Sorry, I was still looking at Minecraft. Because, <laughs> yeah, because we did, my my brother and I did the Diamond Casino one. That's, I think, mm. the last one I remember. And at the time, there was, like, such thing as a gold glitch. And yeah. you had to, like, you had to be goddamn good timing. You know, like, you had to hack these doors and shit with really good timing and right. to activate the glitch to get like fucking maybe three i think it was like over three mil all right hmm. and it yeah. was jesus it, it took a lot of attempts but god yeah. damn was it fucking yeah. Damn. yeah there is definitely a lot of ways to make money in that game and all the money I made definitely wasn't in, in the cleanest way. I mean, there's definitely a lot of my cars are duped and sold. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the only way to have fucking fun. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, I am like level like 600 and something, but I did actually put in time in like some brand new oh, yeah, yeah. game. But yeah, there becomes a time like in almost any game to where you put a certain amount of hours in it and you're just over doing mm -hmm. it the right way. Yeah, what, you know? what is that game for you guys? What? What is the game you have the most hours on? Uh, probably squad. Dude. And it's not even mm. that many. <laughs> I would, I would, I'd honestly, over my lifespan, I want to say Minecraft from 2013, dude. Damn, probably I, Minecraft. I put yeah, hours would, like, on what, that Yeah, game. that's true. I didn't think about Minecraft. I was kind of excluding that because that's just not fair to any other game out there. Yeah, that's uh, fair. That's fair. Uh, well, if it wasn't Minecraft, yeah, I don't. What, what's what's your game then? So, Jeez. hold on. Where is? Well, I guess Counter Strike. So, so, so is George mine with thir <laughs> yeah. one thousand three hundred and fifty-seven hours. Bye. <laughs> Dang, that's quite. <laughs> Which a bit. is not really, you know, that much so, compared to some other people. So you know, like we used to play Counter Strike a lot, right? 
Yeah. I only have 950 hours in that game. Yeah, okay, okay. see? Yeah. Just fucking play it some more and go get the thousand. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. You don't know who you're talking to here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a little uh, other game with hitting balls with, like, rocket-powered cars or something. <laughs> Just to put a little, just to put a little uh, uh, emphasis on this, Rocket League. George knows I lived and breathed that game for a very long time. Um, I, remember, I like played like one match of it. I I was the I was in the top point eight percent of the player base for months. Damn. Right. I have two thousand three hundred eighty five hours <laughs> in Rocket League. Um, I, I have one thousand one hundred eighty nine hours. Yeah, in Rocket I've, League. <laughs> I have double George almost. Um, yeah, I don't know what I have on there. To be honest, that's um, a good question. Yep. So that um, equates to what is that? Where's my calculator? That equates to. Let's see, calculator. Well, 2,300 divided by... That equates to 99 days. <laughs> Almost 100 days played <clears throat> of Rocket League. Um, Hell yeah. Kind of beautiful, yeah. actually. I mean, Matt and I and uh, well, one of one of our <laughs> we don't even old buddies in California, we, we signed up for our LCS like twice. dude dude so we yeah. i remember the first time we were like platinum and we we're like yeah dude let's fucking do this and let's we actually up. we actually like made it to like the semis yeah like, we line, we made it to, like, the, yeah we made it to like the semifinals of the qualifier and then lost so we're like wow that's pretty good and then the next time we joined we got our ass handed to us <laughs> yeah and i was like god damn like, not like what is the that? uh actual like Our, semifinals but but yeah, the semifinals like, of the like bracket we were in. Yeah, uh, RLCS is Rocket League World Champions or Rocket League okay. Championship. Uh, they have RLCS and then they have the World Championship after. Basically, it's like any other game. They do all the brackets, they do all the qualifiers, and then they have people from those qualifiers meet for the World Championship. That's pretty like, badass. So. How did Moist do, George? They, oh man, it was it was tragic. Oh. Uh, I it was, it was I watched Charlie's video, yeah. So I could have watched something incorrect, but it looked like they were kicking Furia's ass. Mm -hmm. Like they just needed to win one game, and I think Furia only won like one or two of the five, and then they just reverse sweeped and fucking beat their ass. Yeah, because they beat Space Station. Yeah, at Worlds. they are they, they are really really fucking good yeah, it was are. just not you know it just wasn't yeah. in the stars okay right. but they're gonna but next next year moist we're gonna coming see back. charlie we're gonna see charlie up there moist. Yeah. dude watch that video it's, I will. I saw it, it. he is so fucking happy yeah. and it it just brings so much fucking happiness well, yeah, because to me. do you think about like think about it he made an esports team took exactly. three people took three people that were kicked from teams, I think, or they were part of a team and the team was no longer a franchise or something like that. Took them three and they're all like European or whatever. And I was like, yeah, let's be on this they're team. They're fucking good. Yeah, let's be on this they're team. And then nuts. everyone was just like, oh, we'll see how this goes. And then they just fucking took it. Like they just, yeah. It's insane. Yeah, and Rizzo's their, Rizzo's their coach, I'm pretty sure. I think so. I'm pretty right? sure Rizzo's yeah, their coach. Yeah, yeah. Rizzo's yeah. their coach. Yeah, Rizzo's their coach. And there's a video of him and Charlie of him quizzing Charlie on like um, terms. <laughs> Rocket League. <laughs> I like, love what that. are the Rocket League? Like, what are the terms? Um, rule Flip number reason. one is a really big term. Oh yeah. What is rule number mean? rule number one basically is if you're playing a game in a match, and you um, you you hit a person like the front of their car and your front front of your car is you know touch tips you know mm -hmm. and uh Certified? if you you st you stay stuck there that's rule number one you never break from that if you break okay. from that you're a pussy basically yeah okay, like, you um, like you like you fucked up if you back yeah. out <laughs> there's people like at rlcs yes, there's been some people that have backed out of it and the whole crowd just like loses their mind like i'm not even they, kidding yeah you. Yeah. It's a huge. Why, like, so, what happens if you back out of it? Uh, nothing. You're just a pussy. It, it, nothing like, happens. It's just like <laughs> you're just a pussy. It's like, like a, a fucking I'll shame on you. On yeah. You. yeah. Like, so how do you win? Like, what do you? 
You don't. Oh. It's just like a Unless, contest? like, you, well, unless somehow sometimes... your friends, like, bump into you or something, then okay. technically yeah. you get saved. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if they, yeah. someone else has to break the connection, yeah. technically. So you guys yeah. just kind of stand there and, like, just fucking... Yep, and it just becomes, yeah. like, a 1v1 or 2v2 with the other people, depending on what mode you're playing. Yep. Okay. And, like... Yep. The thing is, is like other terms, like there's aerial car flying in the air, things like that, which George just watches from the ground whenever, <laughs> whenever I'm playing with him, or he tries, and I just always say, "Oh, that was close." Almost. Oh, that was yep. close. Almost. Me too. That was close. Yep. I, well, uh, because that that really is what it is most of the time, yeah. and it got to the point where, and you'll remember this, I changed my name on Steam to. What what maybe someday or something like that? Yep. Yeah, it was it was, <laughs> one, it was I think it was days? just I think it was just maybe someday or maybe um, someday. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something sure. fucking stupid like that. Yeah. Or I Sounds wish like country singer. <clears throat> I wish shots was another one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that crap. Definitely made sure the other team knew which one was the shit player. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is is like George and I will play duos, and the amount of time people call him a Smurf is fucking awesome. <laughs> Dude, the amount of times people... That's the thing is, like, him, yeah, George just Rocket knows... League, it's sporadic. <laughs> George just knows that he has to get past me the ball. That's what he knows. He, mm-hmm. he knows that if, if we're, like, midfield or something, he just has to pass me in and hope for the best. <laughs> like, there's nothing yeah. else the man's got to do. Um, but there are some nights when George and I play Rocket League, and we're, like, they're, we're like on a click. Like, there's a click going on, and then there's oh, other yeah. nights where I see George, like, <laughs> flipping in the corner. <laughs> yeah, just, like, yeah. like, not... Just not having a good time. <laughs> not doing anything. So, I'm just yeah. like, oh, okay, it's one of those... One of the um, nights. One of the things, too, that... Because um, you guys probably don't know. Do you guys know how George and I met? I do not. No. Well, let's do So, it. we were... Um, me and Andrew. I don't know if you guys know Andrew. Yeah, you... Yeah, Colin, yeah Colin knows Andrew. Um, yeah. We were going to Eva. And you guys know what Eva is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's like a college and high school kind. Yeah, of it's thing. like a trade school, right? So yeah, we were going to Eva. And we were sitting outside. We were sitting outside with Ski, and we were waiting for our bus to show up. Okay, and Andrew uh-huh. and I are talking about Counter Strike because me and him played a lot of games together. We knew, we've known each other for years at that point. <clears throat> and this lovely guy over here, <clears throat> George, just randomly. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't remember what he said or anything like that, but he just really came up to us and just started talking about Counter Strike. Just like, yeah, fucking yeah. <laughs> I think sure. I was just like, yeah, you guys play CS:GO. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, and then I literally probably that same day we probably added on Steam and started playing Counter Strike. Like I'm pretty sure. Hell yeah, we just started playing Counter Strike. Um, <laughs> you couldn't play CS:GO. Uh, and we have well, dude, honestly yo, yeah. you can see like a lot of those memories on my youtube <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> what is oh, your YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah there's a lot man there's a lot it's uh there's a lot and you can ask george like we all had our specialties in that in that game of what we were we're good at doing right oh uh, yeah yeah <clears throat> and i i'm pretty sure i think out of the the people i think to be honest with you i think i was more of like an op guy Counter Strike, absolutely. G, are okay. you able to like share on your cam like some clips? Wait, what? Are you able to share on your cam like some of those clips? Like, can you screen share on your camera into the Discord? He wants to see your Counter Strike clips. Yeah. Right. Oh wait, yeah, I think you can. You can. Podcast people are gonna be like, "What the fuck are we looking at?" <laughs> but you know, that's hard. <laughs> well, no, no, no I think it's like more for us, like, like just to have oh, like while we're talking oh, about yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. Well, well, honestly, you, well yeah, wait, you're I talking mean, about like so you, oh, production, you know. So you can turn on your camera or what? No, he wants you to share. You know, like, are you like using your webcam? Are you able to like share clips as we're talking about it? You know what I mean? From like a production standpoint, like, can you like screenplay clips just for our sake? As you know, what we're do you he know what mean? wants you to share your screen, George, and share a YouTube clip. Oh okay, yeah, take. Sure. Well, I mean, like, we could because we could watch it. Right, but they wouldn't be able to see it. They would no, have yeah, to know, sit through like the audio kind That's of thing. That's true. Yeah, yeah. But but you could like in post, you know, technically put the video in. But if you know, mm-hmm. I think most people, if they're listening to a podcast, they're not really able to yeah, look at true, yeah, the yeah. phone. No, yeah, yeah I figured that. 
But I mean, eventually, I think, you know, we could convert a discord into, you know, something dedicated to the (laughs) podcast where we could include what was talked about in, in the episode. And that's it's just fair. put in its own yeah. channel. Yeah, that's you know? fair. I get that. I literally, like, yeah, so we started playing Counter-Strike, and then I, I, this is going to sound weird because it's about, like, past and exes and stuff, but, like, literally, I think, like, a week or two later, George, like, confronted me about the person I was dating. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Like, it's not, like, knowing me after like, a week and a half or something like that. Yeah. We won't get into that Good whole depth story, but, like, that's how, uh, yeah, that's how we became friends, like, instantly. It was after that, I'm pretty Homie. sure. Like, yeah, man, got my back, you know. <clears throat> yeah, it was, yeah, it was just one of those like, hey, there's some funny business. Yeah, and like, I just met this guy, kind <laughs> of, but like, you know, I still yeah. think I owe it to him to tell him. So, yeah. Yeah. and I was like, you know, what do I gotta lose? That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Look what the friendship because because I just transferred to the school for senior year. I haven't been there for the you know full full duration of high school, so yeah. it was just like. All what right. do I got to lose? I'm going to tell this guy. <laughs> she hates me. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Shouldn't be fucking around, right? Exactly. Yeah. Anyways. But yeah, I mean, that's how we became uh, That's how we became friends. And we've been friends ever since, which was junior year in high school, which was about... Oh, we've been friends for yeah, at least time. over eight years <clears throat> now. That's close to a decade, if not. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, I graduated yeah. in 2016. Are we getting fucking older or what? <coughs> oh, jeez. I guess so. Jeez. Seems like it. I mean, let's see. I, I mean, 2016 was graduation, right, George? So, uh, 16. Yeah, it's about eight years. Roughly. Yeah. Maybe almost nine. I don't know. Somewhere in there. Yeah, getting pretty close. Yeah. Getting pretty close. God damn. <laughs> well, you know what's crazy? I feel like uh, a lot of the good, genuine, like, relationships, like, friendships come from... Um, same interests with like games and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, you know, I, even just like not even just meeting people on the street, but even meeting people like in the the gaming world too. You know, I've made a <clears throat> few different friendships over the times where I like, for example, there was one time when I was um, playing Grand Theft Auto, and there is a bunch of car clubs that do like the role play stuff. And mm. the car club I ended up joining was based in like. Uh, somewhere in london like somewhere in the uk i don't really know exactly but um one one of my good friends actually you you know him george nelson we actually met through that game he was another car community and i ended up meeting him from another car club that was like what 24 to 32 hours around the world it's insane and I've met a couple other people just playing in game communities and stuff, so I think it's a cool, cool passion stuff to, you know, meet people and stuff I mean, like that. I just met these two guys playing Valorant, George, which is who I was playing with before you called me, and literally the <clears throat> I messaged this guy today, and I was like, hey, I'll be on later <laughs> after work and whatnot. <laughs> you know when he says back? He says... <laughs> He's, he's like, I'm working right now. I'm doing sexual harassment training. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, I was like, and then his his next word was his next thing was so I can be good at it. <laughs> and I was so like, I can be good at it. <laughs> my res- my oh. response literally was, Do you get the practice? And he's like, right. and, he, and he's like, Maybe I'm like, I'll volunteer. <laughs> but this is like some random dude that I met like a couple days ago, right? So like, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's true, and like. Um. Yeah, no. Gaming brings a lot of things together, even though it sounds so stupid. Oh yeah. Uh, it sounds so stupid, like to an outside person, right? Who doesn't yeah, understand that? Like, you know. yeah. Someone just. I mean, but stupid. I don't know. There, there's been a point where I've heard a lot of people where they <clears throat> they might not find an interest in games right now. But like they've had interest in games in the in the past, and you know they could still relate to some people off that. It's just <laughs> some of the games that are based on right now on different stuff, whether it's like killing people or you know, just like some of the other people don't approve of. But I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of connections for games and a lot of different people are just hidden in some different parts. Yeah, <clears throat> mm, that's fair. I can see that. 
I mean, I don't know. What are we going to say, George? So, we're probably looking about like an hour and 20 minutes right now. If you That's guys think we should probably wrap it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty juicy pod. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty yeah. juicy pod. Pretty juicy. Yeah, don't want to oh, be no, too next, long, too short. Yeah, I mean, yeah. next one will probably be a lot more organized, I would assume. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> structure will come yeah. with it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. You know, the first yeah. one is never <clears throat> the greatest. Yeah. Well, in a way, it is. Maybe. We had some funny moments on here, you know? Oh, hey, and you guys yeah, look man. damn good. Oh, oh, people, yeah. can't, people that are listening can't really see that. But. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Eventually, yeah, they'll, they'll be able to, and you thank know. Thank you guys but. for uh, tuning in. Absolutely. Yeah, where's it going? Wait, where's this podcast going? We're going to try to. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Damn. <sighs> uh, we're going to have to. Yeah, we're going to try to get it as many places as convenient. That's fair though. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. All right. All right. Good night, folks. Well, thank you for joining right. us, guys. Yeah. And thank you for having us as well. <laughs> Even though you showed up late. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fashionably late. Fashionably late. Okay. Yeah, whatever.